Citroen junior team driver Sebastian Augier led after the opening day, having claimed the lead from the third stage of the day. Spaniard Daniel Sordo came in second and led the factory Citroen charge. Six-time world champion and Jordan Rally winner Sebastian Loeb went into the event trailing his fellow countryman Augier by almost 25 seconds after the first nine stages. Day one leader Sebastian Augier suffered a major setback on stage 15. His tyre instantly deflated at 170 km per hour, forcing the Frenchman off-road and damaging the front left corner of his car. This put Loeb, who had been steadily making his way up the leaderboard, into the lead. Petter Solberg of Norway came in second after another strong performance. But he could not afford to relax as he had 2008 Rally of Turkey winner Miko Hirvonen lying only 1.1 seconds behind him. The slippery surface made it a tough rally on the final day and effectively ended the aspirations of Miko Hirvonen and Daniel Sordo, who both slid off the track and damaged their cars. Sebastian Loeb was on hand to benefit and won the Rally of Turkey by nearly a minute ahead of Petter Solberg. It's the big cut six, right? Ah, it's a, a very good rally. Uh, for sure, I'm really happy to win today because uh, it was a tough battle and uh, even yesterday evening it was far to be to be finished. So we had a great fight with with Petter, with Miko, and uh, it was really tricky. Factory Ford driver Mika Hirvonen completed the podium, coming in third. 2007 Formula One world champion Kimi Raikkonen put in a solid performance to finish fifth overall, his best result in WRC. With his third 